After determining the job performance criteria, the manager, Raider, will enter the criteria details into the ePerformance system within myohio.gov. The manager, Raider, must first create the document in ePerformance and then access it as a current document. The manager, Raider, navigates to MyOhio, My Workspace, Self Service Plus, Manager Tasks, ePerformance Document, Create Performance Documents. Click the checkbox in the Select column next to the appropriate employee, then click the Continue button. Complete all fields on the Create Performance Documents page. These fields are the period begin date, which is the first day of the evaluation period, the period end date, which is the last day of the evaluation period, and the document type, which is typically the annual review. In the clone from prior document drop-down list, choose No to create a new document. If you need to copy goals from a prior document, choose Yes. See the job aid entitled Cloning a Document for assistance with cloning. In the template drop-down list, most viewers will typically select the Annual Performance Review option. If you have questions on which template to select, refer to the job aid entitled Creating a Performance Document and Establishing Criteria. You may also need to check with your Human Resources Department to confirm your selection. Finally, click the Create Document button. After the document has been created, the Create Performance Documents results page will display the message, Document Created Successfully. Once the performance document is created, you can now enter performance criteria into the document. First, navigate to the employee's performance review via MyOhio, My Workspace, Self Service Plus, Manager Tasks, ePerformance Document, Current Performance Documents. Click the document type hyperlink for the applicable employee. Click the Start hyperlink next to the Establish Evaluation Criteria step. Click the Expand All hyperlink located above Section 1. Expanding all sections helps you see everything within all document sections. Update the Purpose of Organization and Position section by clicking the Add Purpose of Organization and Position hyperlink in Section 1. Note that many agencies have pre-populating items in Section 1. If this is the case, you may skip to Section 2. Select Add Your Own Item, then click the Next button. Click in the Title field and enter the applicable title, such as Mission. Click in the Description field and enter the applicable description. Click the Update button to insert the new information in Section 1. Section 2 auto-populates with the statewide competency of customer focus, but you may wish to include a job level. Job levels help employees understand how they fit into the structure of the agency by displaying a brief description of the chosen level. Click the Select Job Level hyperlink to select the appropriate customer focus job level. Leave the subtitle field blank and click the Search button. Select the checkbox next to the appropriate job level. Then click the Add Selected Sub-Items button. Notice that the job level has been added. If that job level's description doesn't quite describe the employee's place in the agency, feel free to delete the original job level and insert a different one. Section 3 houses any selective agency competencies, which apply to all employees within a given agency. Refer to your agency's approved performance evaluation policy to determine whether any agency competencies will be utilized. If applicable, update the Agency Competencies section by clicking the Add Agency Competencies hyperlink in Section 3. Leave the title field blank and click the Search button. Select items from the list as communicated by your agency. If more than one agency competency has been assigned, you may select all competencies that apply within this list. Once the correct competencies have been selected, click the Save button. Classification competencies are utilized for each classification and appear automatically when a document is created. Section 4 selections have already been completed for you. Be sure to add the appropriate job level to each competency. Update the Goals and Performance Expectations section by clicking the Add Goals and Performance Expectations hyperlink in Section 6. Select the Add Your Own Item radio button, 
on the Add an Item screen, then click the Next button. Click in the Title field and enter the applicable title. The title should be a very brief summary of the goal, or a key phrase about the goal. Click in the Description field and enter the applicable description. The Description field should contain the goal's full text. Click the Update button. You may include additional goals as needed by clicking the Add Goals and Performance Expectations hyperlink. Once all goals have been added, click the Save button. Once you are ready to begin rating employee performance, click the Complete button to finalize all criteria. Click the Complete button again. On the Document Details page, the Establish Evaluation Criteria step is now marked as completed.